Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. How are you guys doing? How are you holding up? Stay positive. I hope everything is gonna be back to normal very soon. Today's balloon garland will be very interesting. My daughter Nicole picked all the colors that I will be using in today's setup. I didn't expect her to tell me colors right away. I thought she will, uh, you know, take her time and think about it and uh, tell me later. But no, I asked and she gave me an answer. She knows what she wants. All of the balloons that I will be using in today's setup I got from Lorddale Paper and Balloon Company. I highly suggest going and checking their website out. They have a huge selection of party supplies, balloon types, balloons sizes and shapes, balloons from different companies, not just Qualitex. If you are a new customer to Lorddale Paper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code ANASTASIA10 for 10% off at checkout. This is an affiliate code. It's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. Everything will be used in this video. I will link and list in the description under the video and balloon count will be there as well. Without any further ado, let's go. And this is the color palette that I'm planning to use today. I think Nicole did a great job picking out colors. I really like it. I'm excited. We have this citron yellow in three sizes, a 5, 11, and a 16. This is wild berry over here, three sizes as well, 5, 16, and 11, and pearl lavender in 5 inch. I will be also using a whole bunch of white balloons. I will probably double stuff these balloons on top of all the balloons. I am using electric balloon pump low temperature glue gun balloon tying tool 20 or 30 pound fishing line. All right first things first before I even start blowing and double stuffing my balloons I want to construct my acrylic stand over here. This is a shorter version and I'm going to be assembling a little bit of a, a larger taller piece. So this is how it's going to come to you if you're going to decide to order this. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. So one stand has four walls, four panels. They are all here. They are packed in this little baggie. And, and it does have these two lids, one for the bottom and one for the top. Also at the very bottom, if you dig deeper, <laughs> underneath all of this foam, this box has instructions and lots and lots of zip ties and acrylic ties as well. Let's unpack our walls and these acrylic uh, walls, they are protected by this kind of like a matte whitish looking film. You need to uh, peel that top layer off to expose that clear and nice glossy acrylic and uh, what is this it's a little damage over here i don't know what happened there flip it over i'm taking my second piece and i'm doing exactly the same what i did with my first wall i'm exposing my acrylic by peeling off that film and i'm gonna do that to third and fourth wall as well stand acrylic stand it does come with these baggies as i told you in the beginning uh, with zip ties and acrylic ties right here i like these acrylic ties these little thingies right here because they are translucent when i tie these acrylic thingies on my um stand they were untying themselves so I would double knot them triple knot them and they would still untie themselves I had to scrap these even though I like that they're translucent and you can't tell that these ties hold the whole structure I had to scrap these and work with these white zip ties which they are better they do hold the whole structure better together but right here you can totally tell that these zip ties they do hold this whole thing 
together. Maybe in the future, I, I was thinking to just glue them with some type of glue for acrylic, I don't know. I'll figure this out a little bit later and just glue them, you know, on sides and scrap these zip ties. While he's holding, I am taking my lid and I am putting this lid right on top of my structure. Here is how this stand looks without zip ties. The reason why I put the top lid on top just to hold these four walls together, it will be much easier for us to, you know, zip tie these walls right now. double stuff my balloons it's very easy nothing out of this world i am using this block of foam and some sticks these sticks i use them for cake pops and i had some laying around and i decided to use them for double stuffing my balloons and these are good size and length for what i'm about to do i just took a stick and pressed the stick into my phone to keep my sticks upright it will be so much easier for me to double stuff my balloons this way i am taking my colorful balloon and putting it right on top of my stick then white balloon the same size as your colorful balloon these are 16 inch balloons and putting this white one right on top of my uh, colorful balloon this white balloon will tone down this uh, wild berry color and will make a wild berry balloon more of a pastel color i do get a lot of questions why double stuffing i just basically answered it will give you more of a custom special color take it off and you're ready to inflate your balloons probably hard to tell what kind of color it is because i am filming with my lights in daylight real light it looks uh, totally and completely different and if you have lots of these double stuffed balloons that color pops up more than just one balloon and to tie your balloons you guys you don't have to tie both balloons at the same time you just simply grab your inside balloon using your balloon tying tool and you simply tie your bottom balloon and uh, here we go and this white one won't go anywhere first things first let's double stuff our balloons and then we'll move on to our next step which is blowing our balloons ready to blow all of my balloons i am planning to blow my 11 inch balloons into different sizes so, so instead of just having 11 inch balloons i want to blow them into like 10 8 uh, 9 inch different sizes and then pair different sizes together i will be mixing up the colors i will be mixing 5 inch with 11 inch and 16 inch i mean just just pair your balloons however it comes out to be. Before blowing all of the balloons, I want to show you what I do with my five inch balloons because they can be a little bit stubborn uh, while blowing them with electric balloon pump. So I put my balloon on my pump. I am pinching both of my balloons with my fingers, starting to blow. And while I'm blowing with air, I am uh, pulling my two balloons upwards, kind of giving my balloons a stretch and allowing air to stretch those double stuffed balloons. I hope that makes sense. So After blowing your balloons, uh, just press them against the floor to give your balloons more rounder shape and then pair them together. As you can see right here, uh, two totally different sizes paired together. Keep on mixing sizes, keep on blowing. balloons 
are blowing. It's a lot of balloons. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to pair my balloons into quads or even bigger clusters. I'm not sure, so I'm taking random sizes, random pairs of balloons. I'm not looking at the sizes, and I am pairing them together, just like that, taking five inch pair and pairing them into here as well. Well, something like this. So keep on pairing, keep on twisting your balloons together. I'm excited to try this new technique. some things up instead of using my fishing line I want to try something different this new technique I've seen a lot of people do this and I want to try it as well so I have a whole bunch of these uh, 360s I don't know how what's the proper name of these I called them long balloons I will take them and create my own uh, rope to construct my Base. So I am taking my balloons, two long balloons, and I am tying them together to create one long one. It holds pretty well. And I want to tie one more. And uh, for now, I'm gonna stop here. We'll see how many balloons I can tie with three long balloons. Maybe, who knows, it's gonna be my favorite way to make garlands from now on so i am taking my first cluster of balloons i tried to pick uh, the one that has more bigger size balloons and i am tying my balloon rope i'm gonna call this like that to my first cluster so now I am taking another cluster, whatever you feel like you want to add, and just putting on a spot. So let's do it here. Then I'm taking my balloon rope and I am starting to wrapping around my balloons, random balloons, a couple of times to make sure they're going to stay put on my base. Kind of shuffle your balloons around. Another cluster. Right there. And again, doing the same thing. Putting my cluster and wrapping my cluster tightly to previous balloons. I hope that makes sense. This technique is great because you don't have to uh, fill in spaces later. It's going to be like a filled in balloon garland right away. That's how I'm going to build my balloon garland today. I need to extend my balloon rope so I'm tying another balloon. You guys, my hands are so filthy right now from all the powders and things. So let's construct the rest of our balloon garland. I am excited to see what this whole thing will look like. to mention while building your balloon garland you can reposition your balloon rope to different spots so for example I want to place this five inch cluster right over here and my rope is all the way on the other side so I am taking my rope and I am repositioning wrapping around different balloons to make sure this balloon rope will be secured on that spot and one more time so it's for sure going to be on on the spot where I want it to be then I am taking my 
uh, cluster and I am secure in this cluster right where I want it to be and it's not going to go anywhere. Definitely wrap your rope around totally random balloons, not just this cluster, to make sure this whole spot will be secured in clumped together. And to secure your balloon garland, I am cutting piece of my balloon rope wrapping around my balloon and literally tying my balloon rope around one of the balloons or you can do a different way you need to find your balloon right there the lip of your balloon and literally tie your balloon rope with that balloon into a knot and it's gonna hold your structure together I am ready to hang this section over here so I'm taking extra piece of fishing line or you can use balloons and you attach this balloon garland to your command hooks I will link a video of commonly asked questions about balloon garlands in that video I do show an up close how I use command hooks to hang my garlands and how I hang my garlands using fabric and backdrop frames so go check that video out I do answer now, different uh, other questions about balloon garlands in that video as well, it will be helpful. Now, we are creating the top portion for our installation. So, let's do exactly the same thing, creating a rope from balloons and just wrapping, wrapping, and building and building. Very nice and very, very cute. I like it. It turned out even better than I expected, honestly. Now it's time to fill in spaces with the remaining of our balloon clusters. I am taking my long balloons that I used to construct this whole thing and I'm literally tying my clusters to my balloon garland. You can use fishing line, curling ribbon, or glue dots, but use a lot of glue dots per cluster to make sure your cluster will stay on your balloon garland for a long time. Or, you guys, you can always use low temperature glue gun. That's another option. That's probably what I would do uh, next if I wouldn't have enough balloons to tie to my garland. So, anyways, let's go and fill this balloon garland. up I want to add some of the pearl purple really light color purple balloons into it I have two balloons over here kind of like put them there to see and I really like what it does to my balloon garland so let's uh, kind of spread these balloons throughout this garland by the way I am using glue dots just to save time I don't want to wait for my glue gun to heat up finish everything off I am taking a whole bunch of flowers as you can see here this uh, these two buckets I had them for a while I bought all of these flowers uh, from uh, Walmart I can't remember the price of them but then this part over here these beautiful beautiful flowers I got from AC more we have a store that is going out of business and they had a crazy crazy deal on flowers so I got lucky I got four hundred and thirty dollars worth of flowers and other greenery and I paid only a hundred and thirty 
I mean, what a saving, right? So I'm taking this lavender over here. My son Victor is helping me to unpack these. And I want to stuff my acrylic stands with flowers. We'll see how that's gonna turn out. I've never done anything like this before. Uh, first time for everything. I took top lid from my acrylic stand and I want to fluff these um, flowers up just a tiny bit so they would kind of like be more fluffier looking. So you guys, as you can see, I'm just dropping them into my acrylic stand and it works pretty good, you know? It looks really cute and you can't really see the stands that much. So I'm gonna try to fluff these up a little more than I intended to to kind of give uh, these uh, flowers more spring. So if a flower lays on top, it's not gonna squish these flowers too much. everything off. I think I want to mimic the flowers from my acrylic to my garland. So I am taking my flowers and I'm literally pushing them between my balloons. If you're doing this for a client, it's better for you to glue them down just to be sure everything stays in one spot. Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my setup, you guys. I am loving everything that I see here. This is my favorite setup up to date, you guys. Love the colors, love the flowers, love the quality of the balloons. Thank you so much, Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company for these beautiful and awesome balloons. So I constructed this whole thing with my 360s. I hope I named them right. Those long balloons. I only used glue dots to attach these um, purple pearl balloons and that's it. I pushed my flowers into the garland between my balloons and it holds very very well. My acrylic stands you guys, my acrylic stands, they are stunning, gorgeous, great quality. The only thing as I told you earlier in this video i don't like white zip ties because you can definitely see them you can see that something is holding those walls together i wish those uh, acrylic translucent ties would work but they just don't work so yeah i had to use a zip ties i will link and list everything in the description under the video and a few pictures will be at the end of this video as well this is it you guys this is my take on this balloon garland i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and entertaining if it was don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions i'll leave them in the comment section below i will be there to answer them all and help you out to the best of my ability if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and interesting ideas and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon bye